Hi. In this video, I'm going to discuss a different kind of lookup. Uh, in previous videos, I've discussed the VLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP is quite a useful function. However, one thing it cannot do, it cannot give you the next bigger value. What I mean by that, let's look at this example. Let's say I'm a boxer and I weigh 70 kilos. And I wish to know in what class, in what weight class do I belong with my 70 kilos. Now, here are the weight classes of boxing. And with my 70 kilos, I would be too heavy for the super welterweight, so I should be middleweight. Now, using such a table, it is impossible with a VLOOKUP to get that uh, middleweight class. A VLOOKUP would give you super welterweight because the VLOOKUP takes the value smaller than your weight, and that's the 69.9. Uh, but I need the middleweight. So that's why here what we need is a different function called match. And the way match works is like that. You take the function wizard and you go, you can go to all and just call M match, 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 match. Oh, I just overshot it. There we go, match. Now match is a bit similar to, um, to the VLOOKUP. And uh, the lookup value is the same thing as the VLOOKUP, which is basically the 70 kilos that I got. My lookup array is this here. And basically here, I don't need to select, let me just click in here. I don't need to select the whole array. What I need to select is that column containing those values similar to my lookup value. Now my lookup value is 70 kilos, basically my weight. Uh, thus, I just need to select this column here, which is consists of all the weight limits for a certain class. Okay? And now, match type, here's now the trick. There are three different match types in the, in the, in the, in the match function. You got either zero, or you can put one, or minus one. Now let me go through them. Zero means exact match. That means in this case, the function would give you the exact, the, 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 the class, the weight class of exactly 70 kilos. And you can see here in the preview, there is nothing because there is no weight class with a 70 kilos limit. There is 69.9 or 72.5, but there's nothing 70. So that's why that won't work. That's basically zero is like exact match. Now, if I go to one, that's like the VLOOKUP. Basically, it gives me this next smaller value, which is basically the 69.9. And I don't need that. What I need is the next bigger value. And that is minus one. So match type minus one gives you the next bigger value in, uh, in the weight classes. And let's go, okay? So I get five. What, what is five? Well, five isn't the weight class, but basically it's the line in which your weight class is, okay? So basically our weight class is line five now. Is that true? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Middleweight. But how do I get the class out? Okay. Let me just rename that. That's the line on which my in which my class exists. Now my class can be found with a different function called index. And I just go all. Just go to index. Index. There we go. I just take always take the first one, the first option. And now index again, a bit similar to uh, to VLOOKUPs. You gotta fix your array. Basically, it's my data table. What row number? Well, row number is the row given up by the match function. And what column number? Well, what do I want? Well, I, I'd like to have the uh, you know the weight classes. So it's column one. And there we go. See, I'm middleweight. And if I go like 65, I'm Walter weight. Is that true? Well, I'm too heavy for a super lightweight, so I'm definitely Walter weight. Okay, so that's how match works. Important is when you're using match, when you're using match, especially when you, when you set this uh, um, match type to minus one, be careful to sort your data in a decreasing fashion. You see here, I, I've, I've sorted my 
weights in a decreasing manner. The highest weight is on top and the lowest is on the bottom at, at the bottom. And that's important because if you if you change the sorting, that thing won't work. Okay, I'm just gonna change the sorting. And you see it doesn't work anymore. So you have you have to stick to your sort you have to have it to sort your data in a decreasing manner if you're planning to use minus one. And minus one, don't forget, I'm just gonna go back in here. Don't forget, minus one means it finds the next bigger value. That's what we needed in this example. Whereas zero would find an exact match and and one would find the next smaller value. Okay, let's let's try one. Would give you the next smaller and here in this case you would have to sort your data in an increasing fashion okay and you see now with 65 i am getting super lightweight and not welterweight because it's take it's taking the next smaller value to 65 my weight is 65 and the next smaller value is 63.5 it's not taking the next bigger value and when you're using match and having that match type set to one, then you have to sort your data in an increasing fashion. And what, what's important is that you sort those values similar to the lookup value. Our lookup value is the weight. So basically I have to sort my weights in an increasing manner. If I wish to have, if I have to use, if I wish to find the next bigger value, then I have to take minus one, and then I will have to sort my data in a decreasing fashion. Oh, sorry, I just have to click first in my weights and then sort my data in a decreasing fashion in order to get the results that I wish. Okay? And by the way, you couldn't see it previously, but the way to sort your data, an easy way to sort your data is this here, and smallest to largest is what I mean by increasing manner, meaning smallest is at the top and biggest is at the bottom, and sorting largest to smallest is basically in decreasing manner, basically the, the biggest weight at the top and the smallest at the bottom, okay? Now, another thing that I wish to explain is um, what, if I, what if I weigh 100 kilos? I get nothing. Well, because my problem is, and that problem is often in uh, real-time data, in boxing, the heavyweight has no limit. And, you know, and what if I weigh 100? I should be heavyweight, but it, it doesn't work here. So I've got to put some sort of artificial limit. And I'd say, you know, instead of having this 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 thing here, why not put like 300? I mean, I don't think that there's going to be a boxer, an active boxer in the ring, weighing more than 300 kilos. So if I put 300, I get the results that I want. Obviously, this is not a correct uh, weight, but sometimes you know you have to compensate in order to get results you wish. Let's take it a step further. Let's say I just don't want the, only the class, but I also like to have the class limit. Okay, and the class limit is basically that's a nice thing about match. Match gives you the line in which your result is. And with index, you can then extrapolate that line into the result you wish. In this case, we used index to give us the, the result of column one in line one, which is basically our weight class. Now, if I wish to have the class limit, it's basically the same thing. I just have to copy the index uh, function again, put it in here, and instead of column one, I need column two. All right, let me just uh, align that. And there's the class limit. Okay, so if I have like, uh, I don't know, I weigh like uh, 72, I'm middleweight and my class limit is 72.5. And if I gain weight, 74, now I'm super middleweight and my limit is now 76.2. All right, so, you know, you only need one match function. That's the beauty of it. With, with the VLOOKUPs, you need several VLOOKUPs for each uh, result. In this case, you only need one match and all the results can be then uh, obtain using the index function. Okay, great. And uh, one more thing, if I am 100 kilos and I am heavyweight, but I know 300 is not truly the class limit. There is actually no class limit. How can I rectify that? Well, you can use another function I've been discussing in previous videos, which is the if function. You can just write in if. 
line is equal to one, which is basically if I am like, you know, heavyweight, I am like at the top, then just return that minus, otherwise return the required result. And this way, that 300 that I put here, this artificial 300, will never be seen by the user, you know, if, if, if you have heavyweight, but if you have a different class, you will get to see the uh, limits. That, in short, is a quick and small application in Excel uh, returning the next bigger item, in this case, the weight class, uh, the, the, the boxing weight class of a certain boxer weight.